What's going on guys? This is Bright Ralph and I'm bringing you some RuneScape today. Uh, for the ones who don't know, there will be some I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and give a brief explanation of RuneScape. So RuneScape is a fantasy MMORPG developed and published by Jagex. Jagex uh, however, you, you, you can, yeah, I don't know how you pronounce that. J-A-G-E-X. Released originally in 2001 on January. Um, <clears throat> RuneScape was originally used as a graphical browser game implemented on the client side in Java and it incorporates 3D rendering since the release of NXT Client in April 2016 a non-browser based version of the game that's written in C++, C++ is also available now that game the new version of RootScape basically what they did was I think it was in 2016 they well in 2015 they were building it and they were building it in some of 2016 but they were building a new RootScape basically like a whole new game but what they essentially did was they kept the gameplay and everything else like the same but they wanted to basically bring RuneScape into a new graphics engine so they built it around HTML5 which the original of course was in Java and um, uh, it was in Java and Java you know can't can't doesn't offer the best graphical capability so they built it in HTML5 now although the new client uses C++, the game's still running on an HTML5 based uh, graphical engine, game engine, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you guys a taste of that. They still have the old school RuneScape and they actually, in order to get around renaming, uh, re or in order to get around not making the new one called RuneScape something something, they wanted to keep the old name. So what they did was they, they took um, the old one and and renamed that old school so now it's officially called RuneScape old school so that they can keep this name on the new one and people won't get too confused um, <clears throat> because again they weren't trying to reinvent it or make a new game they just wanted to um, up the graphical quality uh, so that new new generations of people uh, kids and stuff would be more interested in playing it and um, yeah it looks like it's helped because the game has had over 200 million accounts created and is recognized by the Guinness World Records as the world's largest free MMORPG and the most updated game now that's not the new one it's all that's based those those stats are based off of the old one um, <clears throat> that has gotten that kind of that kind of attention so yeah now that we have that down you guys some of you guys are familiar with that who weren't before I'm gonna go ahead and log in but before I do that uh, I'll be back. It'll be like a split second for you guys. So, yeah. Alright, and we're back. I just don't want to advertise my, um, I don't want to advertise my email on my YouTube videos or anything like that because there's, you know, there's a lot of malicious people out there. So, essentially where I am now in the game is, I don't know why, I just, I don't, I don't know what he's doing. And why is it so dark? Oh, it's because it wants me to do something. Wait. quest says area now the bad thing about this game is it doesn't have scaling and so in order to get around that and make things bigger because I'm I have a 1440p display and it basically just goes off of whatever your desktop is set at and unfortunately there is an option to set it lower to a lower resolution but every time I click on it it doesn't work the old the old RuneScape was very locked down if you didn't pay for it, and you couldn't change resolutions on the old one if you didn't pay for it, which is like a really crappy thing, but unfortunately that was just the way it was. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing with this one, because um, when I click on the Rezo and hit apply, it does nothing. So I'm pretty sure they've, they've kind of implemented that same thing into this one. Um, but yeah, this is essentially RuneScape, the new version. It, it, I mean, it's basically, it's not much difference. 
the only real difference is you know new areas and things like that but just better graphical quality better graphics and things like that that's really the only only difference here yeah take that Christmas tree even though it's not a Christmas tree that doesn't seem to be working I don't know what I'm doing um, I haven't played this in years because I was a fan of the original um, and I have not played this in years so this is the map as you can see there are like locked areas and those areas you cannot go to unless you pay for like a premium account and I'm not getting it just as a disclaimer I'm not trying to get into this game or um, actually put you know any kind of real time into it I'm just making I'm just playing it in order to show you guys and then when I'm done with the video it will be uninstalled. Um, not that it's not a good game, but I just don't want to get invested in a MMORPG at the moment. They're very time consuming, and I just, I just don't, I don't, I have other games to play right now, so I'm not sure where to go. I, I just accepted a quest. Uh, I'm not understanding why it's not. Demon Slayer is the quest. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. In that building, where the heck was that building I was in? It was down here. Crap. I think it was this one. There's a trap. I forgot. There's this trap door over here. But why it doesn't have the arrow and stuff anymore, even though I said it's active, is beyond me. <clears throat> well, what is this? Oh, that's the sword I, I need or something? Welcome. Oh, three trials. So that means three quests, I'm guessing. Uh, how'd you go? The trial of faith demonstrates that you believe in the power of the gods to guide you. Without faith, silver light will be powerless in your hands. Uh, yes, sure. There's no way across. Okay. Yes, I know how to change camera views. What? But. What? <laughs> what? Uh, the compass shows which way is north. Clicking it resets camera. Okay. Am I supposed to go this way? No. Okay, am I supposed to go that way? Um, hmm. Oh. Yes, I know how to use the compass on the mini map. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm guessing no. Okay. This is just this is just really stupid cuz it doesn't require any it's not like you're solving a puzzle. It's not like you're using intelligence. It's not like you're using skill of any kind. It's just oh, why did I do that? Cuz I'm talking, that's why. It's just stupid though, because it's just like a guessing game is all it is, and that's really dumb. I just, I'm just gonna say it. It's just really stupid, but whatever. Okay, so I'm guessing. Okay.
What? Does it go that way or this way? Uh, let's see. No, no. I think it's going to need to go there, but see, it looks like the path would connect there, so I thought it would go like this, but apparently not. This is freaking stupid, to be completely honest. Because it's like you're not doing, it's just guessing game. What? This is dumb. Like, at least have me do a quest or something, you know, maybe uh, maybe solve a puzzle that takes a little bit of intelligence or something. Not, not just, oh, find out where you can walk and find out where you can't walk. Guessing. Okay, let me talk to you. Or not. Thank you. You have completed the trial. I will wait for you. Yeah, because it was such a trial. It was so hard. It was annoying, but that's about it. Wait, do I have to? Do I have to cross it back? Like, did it just take it away from me? Oh. Wow, I, I totally didn't think I was going to remember that. I guess. Okay, so, uh, I guess being sarcastic wasn't. I don't know what the hell its name is. I don't freaking know. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that was easy. Blah, 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 blah. Um. Oh, God, I thought it was only going to be those two, I guess. What are you doing, dude? Get over there and kill those things. Oh gosh. The hell that was weird.
Yes, yes, I did. Now give me the stupid sword, please, so I can continue with this quest. Well, that's actually pretty sweet. New silver light. It looks cool, but it probably has crappy stats. Yeah, they're not. Th I mean, they're they're okay. Okay, now what? I have, I should return to. Okay. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! What the hell, dude? Go talk to this guy. I think this is the one. Uh, the, the NPC's gone. Uh, look for a trapdoor without much like going to this church. I'll meet you there. Okay, it's not gonna, so you're not gonna tell me where exactly? Like, you're not gonna show me? Hmm. Well, there sure is a lot of places to go, so who, who the heck knows? Let me read that scroll again. Beneath the temple of Zamorak in the southeast part of Verak. I'm in Verak, right? Oh, I can't right do right now. Uh, look for a trapdoor without much like the one in this church. So, in the southeast part of Verak. What the heck was that? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? This is funky. Like, I, I clicked. I didn't even want him to go over there. I freaking clicked out here and it made me go all the way back there. What's this? Alright. Let's see. Barack, Barack. Uh, yeah, that's basically where I was. Alright, I just... Wait, is it out here? Or is it in there? Oh, the rock, okay. Is that it? No. Let me see something here. Uh, as you can see, it's all Christmassy and stuff for December. That's pretty cool. I love it when games do that. I've always liked that. The water looks really good in this version. Like in the newer version, like it looks way better than water used to. Like that's pretty good looking water. I mean, 
it's not, you know, spectacular or anything, but for a friggin' HTML5 engine, that's pretty good. Should we try and kill the bear? Where the hell did it go? There it is. Oh, we can't? I guess it's not an enemy. There's one that looks like an enemy. No, it doesn't. Why can't I fight anything out here? That's weird. Yeah, I'm not even going to do that quest, guys, because I really don't want to put in... I'm just checking out the game, you know, doing a first... Doing like a, like a brief beginning area, you know, what it's like when you start the game. Uh, video, just kind of showing it off. What it's about, giving the basics and all that stuff. Because that's what I do here, as you guys know. I don't do reviews. I don't do in-depth looks at things. I don't... I just, I just give you brief... I give you the history, the brief history brief explanation and uh, just just brief details show you a little bit and then it's up to you to decide whether or not you can take that information and say yeah it looks like something I'd like or no I'm not interested you know I don't think I want to play that and then because that's how I do it I mean you really only need that basic information to know if, if you want to play something or not that's that's why I don't do you know like in-depth stuff where I'll play the game for three hours because what's the point Nobody's going to watch it that long anyway. And and even three hours doesn't cover the whole thing, you know? So it's like, I, I always find that a brief description and overview of the game is always best. So, what's over here? Hello. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> what? Okay, creeper. The heck is this? Is a hole in the ground? Oh, whoa, whoa. Enter. Oh. Uh... No, thank you. But if you guys want a cool, free MMORPG, I would definitely suggest this one. If that's what you guys are looking for. Something free that you don't got to put money into, that you can play and get a lot of fun out of. This would definitely be it. Um, especially if you like older feeling games too. Like, you know, just games that kind of have an older style of gameplay and feel to them. That would also suit you. But yesterday when I checked the player base to see how many people were playing this game, it was 100,000 and some odd people, which is pretty dang good. I mean, that's not, like, spectacular, but that's pretty dang good, especially for, you know, RuneScape, so. All right, guys, well, I think I'm going to end it here. I, I think I've guys given you enough idea whether you like the game and you like to try it or not. So, um, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.